So hi everyone, we are back with another tutorial on model context protocol MCP server and this time we would be connecting Slack with Cloud AI using MCP server. So basically you need to have a workspace in Slack and there are multiple steps that you need to follow to get started. So first of all I'd be showing you a demonstration and then later on I'd be showing you the entire process as well. So I have opened up my Cloud AI desktop application now. Under the hammer sign, you can see that Slack tools are now visible because I've already connected it. I'll be showing you the entire demonstration, how to do that too. And it has many useful tools, list channel, post a message, reply to a thread, get users, get user profile, etc. So let's test it out. Post a message in the group MCP testing, telling that you are having a good time today. So let's hit. Cloud has now started working. Now it is asking for some permissions. Now it is able to find the channel also. Allow for this chat. I'm having a good time today. There's a message that I will be posting and it is able to post now. Let's check. I'm having a good time today. This message has been sent now. Apart from that, let's see what are the other tools present. Get the list of all users present in the workspace. Don't show their email ID. Now this will help us fetch out information about all the users. So this is just a dummy workspace that I've set up. I'll be deleting everything. Here's a list of all the users. So user is a Slack bot. Couple of bots are there. Then I'm the data science pocket and this is my actual username as well. For user it is able to find out quite good. What are the other things we can do? Get thread replies, get channel history, get user profile as well, list channels. Let us try to list channels also. What are the different channels present in the workspace? Now here you can see that in quite uh, like just a few seconds it is able to fetch out every information that we have. It is able to see that there are four channels present. So you can post messages, reply to threads, add reactions, do whatever you wish to do. There is a pretty good MCP server for Slack. Now once you have seen this demonstration, now let's go to the main part. How to integrate Slack MCP with Claude or with any other as, uh, LLM as well. So basically I am using this particular Slack MCP server and these are the different tools present reply to thread slack add reaction this is present in model context protocol server github repo so we will start off with this there are multiple things you need to do first of all you need to set up a slack application then provide permissions and auth and then install the application in your workspace and then get your teams ready there are four steps required so let's get started one by one so this is the Slack developer mode as you can see here as I clicked on that particular URL you need to click on create a new application as you can see this is the MCP bot that we were using that I've already created for myself go to create new application here go to from scratch pick up a workspace or data science pocket name the app as test for now test one and create application once you're able to create application just scroll down to OAuth and permissions. Everything would be deleted, so don't try to mimic my IDs and passwords that you see. So here you can see that OAuth will be automatically generated when you finish installing your app to your workspace. Add at least one permission scope to install the app. So go down a bit and here are the scopes present. So once you go back, here are the different scopes that you need to add here. Channel history, channel read, channel write, reaction write, user read. So I'll for now just add one of them. So that, but you need to add all these five to make the MCP server working for you. Now this scope is added. I will click on install to data science pocket. Click allow. And this is done. Now once you scroll down here you can see that you have got your 
bot user auth token as well copy this auth token and then go back now we are done with this part creating the bot getting the auth so one two and three are done now we need to get our team id so how to get this one so i'll be showing this now so i have taken the bot or now you need to get the team's id that is a workspace id go to your slack workspace and just click on the name of the workspace so here you can see the data science pocket dot slack dot com you need to go to this particular url now so here you can see that data science pocket dot slack dot com is coming now this particular id in this the id starting with t is the team's id that you need to have so we have got our bot id we have also got our teams id now so i think rest of the process is quite easy you need to go to your cloud desktop config dot json copy paste this particular command and add your slack bot token that the token that we generated before this one and the team id that we generated just now so i'll be showing you my cloud auth as well so you need to go to cloud go to files go to settings go to developer and edit config cloud desktop config and here you can see that slack bot token and slack team id is present for you so this is how you need to create your cloud desktop uh, config dot json add this mcp server that is model context protocol forward slash server hyphen slack no installations are required once you are done just open your task manager if cloud is already open close it completely and then restart it so once you restart cloud once you end task from here and once you restart it you should be able to see all the tools present so this is how you can connect slack mcp server to cloud ai or with any other llm as well this is how you create the config and get the bot id now connect with any llm i think it should work fine for you and this is a pretty good mcp server to manage your slack channel thank you so much